with the peace of the Lord. I invite you all to stand. We're going to open our Bibles. Joshua, chapter 24, verse 14. Joshua, chapter 24, verse 14. Thank you. And 15. Very good. Thank you. Aye, aye, aye. Assim nos diz a palavra do Senhor. Says the word of the Lord. Now therefore, fear the Lord. Serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the river and in Egypt. And serve the Lord. And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, Choose for yourselves this day whom you serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the river, or the gods of the Ammonites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Lord, we want to adore and bless your name for the manifestation of your Holy Spirit among us since the moment that we started the service through the songs. Now we ask you that you can bless us through the meditation of your word in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. This month of June for us It's a month that we have experiences among our family members. The Lord has convoked us to pray, to fast uh, uh, in favor of our family members. And this morning, when we came, we received the, the prayer with lay hands. The Lord has spoken deeply to our hearts. So it's a month that we go through several trials and struggles. We are going through. Every year we have a different test or trials. Sometimes it's the pandemic. This year is different trials. Financial economically but in all of them we we trust the Lord the power of the Lord and the word of the Lord is clear since the first text that we read for uh, first text of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation that God has a project of salvation of deliverance and fellowship with the mankind in the beginning of the creation, God has made everything, and he saw that everything was good. God has made man and woman, and as the time went by, the first family and all after, the families are going through different difficult moments, but always God has the solution and the provision during every trial and struggle. And this passage we just read, the people of the Lord have entered the, the promised land. They divided the land 
and it was a moment to enjoy all the richness, all the good goods of the land. But there was a need for the people to put before the Lord a new covenant. We see throughout the, the history of the Bible era, the people of the Lord always have ups and downs. When they well, when they up, and then they they enter in the difficulty because they abandon the fear and they stop seeking for the Lord. The people go after the struggle sometimes because the people uh, set it aside that God chose to serve Him, to adore Him, to seek for Him. And sometimes they they look for trouble. They forget everything and they, they deviate from the ways of the Lord. They remember the things of the past. And Joshua here, once again, con conclaim the people and convoke the people and say, we need to make a new covenant with the Lord. What do you think? We're going to keep thinking about the past and the gods of the past, the gods that our parents used to serve. We went through Egypt. We went through the wilderness and the Lord has delivered us. Joshua was an eyewitness of all of these blessings and deliverances. And the Bible says that Joshua and Caleb Caleb, two men, they were the only two that entered the promised land at the end because of their posture, because of their behavior. They numbered the miracles that the Lord made for Israel. Joshua called the people and speak to them. We need to be clear here. We cannot have these ups and downs like we are having. We need to have our hearts well set before the Lord and to bring our families to have the same understanding. So Joshua asked them, whom you want to serve? Decide today. This is the day. I say, as for me and my house, I'll serve the Lord. That's something established, solid. I'm going to talk to my family. I'm going to sit down. And let's see. No, no. He was solid. He was flat. His family also has this position. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We see that Jesus came and fulfilled the law. The Word of God says, Jesus opened this, the way of salvation, a great door to the Gentiles, to the people that are not from Israel. As God took care of Israel, God has showed us how much He loves us and how much He loves His church. The church that he is being prepared, doctrine, delivering from the world, and he leaves this hope. One day you will be with me in heaven. We see today that the church walks defined, everything is ready. The doctrine is already established. The Holy Spirit is being revealing a prophetic time. And this time, everything has fulfilled already. The only thing that we need to wait is the, the second come of Jesus. We have seen all the signs, all the things that is happening, that are happening. 
And the time is getting short. It's getting tight. So today we are closer than yesterday. If he, if it, if he didn't come tonight, tomorrow we are closer. We need to have this definition in our hearts. To whom you want to serve. As Joshua says, me, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And this is the blessing, the special blessing for the life of the church, of this world, of the work of the Holy Spirit. God has this promise, a promise of eternity uh, for His church. And we need to go ahead and transfer this commitment to our family members, our fellowship, the way that we seek the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord has given some gifts of the Holy Spirit, showing a life of a lady that is asking for a blessing for her household. The Lord has this blessing to her. This month is a month of, it's a month by faith that we will have the most experiences with the Lord. But the Lord will give us victory. The Lord showed that this lady, she has a harsh in her heart against her husband, and this is holding off her victories and answers through her prayers. 
In the Bible, there is a text that says, if you, if you want to bring your offering to the altar, but if you remember that you have something against someone or someone has anything against you, go there, make peace, and come back and offer to the Lord. The Lord has this blessing for all of us. And sometimes in our heart, there's a, a hard feeling, a grudge, and this wound will grow and would make bad for our whole body. Spiritually, it's the same thing. So this grudge that the Lord is revealing in your heart, it's a moment to talk things through and make peace. Not only with the husband, but maybe you were listening and you have a problem with your parents, with your children, Receive the instruction from the Lord to make peace. Talk to them with the direction of the Holy Spirit. Calmly, the Lord will give the blessing to your household. The Lord also showed a life of a man. He had addiction and used medicines. The Lord is revealing that He's delivering you today from this addiction. And you can trust and receive this blessing from the Lord. Lord, in this moment we praise your name because it's good to listen to your word and to be in your house. You have found us, O oh Lord, and your people are here listening to your voice. You have sustained us. We thank you as for you are a God that is healing us, is blessing us, is taking care of ourselves and our families. And through your word, we are victorious. Thank you for allowing us to be part of this body and to serve you. Thank you for rescuing your church and for the hope to live with you forever. We bless you. We adore you. For the moment of worship we had today. Everything we know by faith you have received. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's stand, church. Lord, we adore you. We bless you. For this fellowship. For these moments of worship. And your word has spoken to our heart deeply and you have brought joy to our hearts we ask you that you can give us a night of blessing in the name of Jesus amen in the grace of our Lord Jesus the love of God the Father and the presence of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever amen the church may be seated If you are here with us tonight, we are here at your disposal to pray for you, to assist you. The we would like to remind everyone that we are in the month of the family members. So starting Monday, midnight of Sunday, zero o'clock of Monday. Uh, we're going to start a 24 in interrupt prayer for the reasons that the Lord has revealed and most of us are familiar with. Uh, get in touch with your group, with your responsible for your group and get, in, get directions and guidance so we can fit with, within God's desire. So also we will be fasting from 0 to 9 as well or if you cannot do in the morning you can do f from 5 p.m. until like 8.30 in the night so this week we will be busy in fellowship with the Lord during to all the, uh, the whole week please add to this list of prayers two reasons the the ones that are sick 
We have members of the church that they need a miracle, an action special from the Lord, like a miracle, because they are going through rare and difficult diseases. So when when you deliver your fasting, you pray in this uh, in favor of this motive too. And the other reason is next week several pastors of the United States will be traveling to assist people uh, to Korea, uh, South Korea, Japan, and United Kingdom. So they can be instruments in God's hands for salvation and experiences, deliverances, and whoever participates in these events, they can be marked by the Holy Spirit. Amen? Anybody that needs a prayer, we are here. Peace of the Lord to you all. Tomorrow, 10.30, Sunday School Teaching.